Hello guys, this is Mehdi. Uh, today we're gonna go over how to append required certificate to cabundle.crt using Internet Explorer or Chrome browser. Uh, in this video, we're gonna go over why we need this and how to accomplish this task. I'm gonna go over everything uh, through an example. Okay, as you can see, I have a simple mapping that uses HTTP transformation to send a request to a web service provider and write the request, write a response to a flat file. I created a workflow to run that mapping. Let's start that mapping. Okay, the mapping is started. And here. Okay, so the session is succeeded. But as you can see, the source read one record, but nothing is being written to the target. So that seems suspicious. Let's go to the session log and see why. Okay, so right click session log and let's search for SSL. Okay, here's the error message. SSL certificate problem unable to get local issuer certificate. What does it mean? It means that Informatica is uh, going to CA bundle.crt, which is located in server bin directory, and to see if it can find any matches for the certificate that the web service provider is used. Okay, let's paste the URL on Chrome and paste the same URL on the IE. Hit enter. Okay, let me explain what happened here. So as you see, the response from the Google API is a JSON response. Chrome can process it, and you can see the message, but IE cannot. Uh, in this specific case, I cannot use IE to download the cert, but I got to show you in general how to use that. So I go back to another Google page and uh, you see the logpad sign here you see the logpad sign here so when i click on it from the chrome view certificate this certificate manager pops up and same story if i use it from ie same certificate manager pops up so from here everything is identical since i'm going to download the specific certificate for my base URL, I go to Chrome and continue. Okay, I'm going to close this to prevent confusion. Okay, now I have the Chrome and the Certificate Manager. So as you can see, there is a chain of three. One, two, three. So I go to the last one, click on the Detail tab, click Copy to File, Next, I select the base64 and next I browse to any location. I want to put it cert1. That cert1 is enough and just say okay. Blah blah finish successful. I go back to certificate path. Now select the one on top of that. View certificate. Go to detail tab copy to file same exact process I go here I call this cert 2 next finish successful go to certificate path go one on top again view detail copy to file next paste Next, location, and cert three. Then, yep, next, finish, successful. Now I'm gonna close everything and go back to the location of the certificate files. So let me open the certificate one by one into Notepad++. 
So please, guys, uh, use Notepad plus plus or Ultra Edit or uh, these kind of editor. Do not use the um, Notepad that comes with Windows because it adds extra character. You have if you're running Informatica and Linux, uh, sometimes it causes problems. So it's better not to use that if you have a Linux operating system for your Informatica. So here, what I'm going to do is I basically going to go copy cert1, paste it to the new file, go to cert2, copy cert2, append it to the new file, go to cert3, same story, append it to the new file, and here. Now I'm going to save that file to like Google API.crt. Okay, so I have this file here. Now, I'm going to go back to my Informatica server and create that file inside the server. Okay, so I'm going to go to a location that the Informatica user has access to. I'm going to create a file called Google API.crt. The name is can put anything. Uh, so I go here and I copy everything from the new file. The file that has all the certificate appended to it. So I copy that and I try to save the file. And yes, and save. Just learn just to check. Yep, it is here. So I have the location. I have, I'm going to Workflow Manager to create a connection, HTTP connection to test this certificate. Okay, I go here, application connection, new, uh, it should be somewhere on top, HTTP transformation, okay. So I gotta call it HTTP Google API. So, on the username and password, since I'm not going to use any user and password, I don't want Power Center to ignore it. I have to use the special special format. So uh, the user is PM null user, and the password is PM null password. So I copy and paste it here, so there is no typo. Now here in the trust certificate file location. I go back, so this is the root directory, and and this is the name of the file. Okay, now I'm gonna save it and close this. Go to the session. Click on the mapping. HTTP transformation change this to application and Google API okay and okay save the session and I'm gonna run it okay start workflow let's go back to here Perfect, successful. This time it's writing something to the target as well. Let's see the session log and search for SSL to make sure. SSL, nothing. And as you can see, everything is in info and no error. Perfect. So that means the test was successful and now we're going to append it to CA bundle CRT so we don't need to use application connection anymore. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do cat, that's the file we used. I'm gonna append it to the location of 961 one server bin and CA 
append all that CRT. So basically this command is going to append the content of Google API that CRT that we used successfully on our session to the CA bundle.crt. Okay, that's done. Let's tail. Uh, let's just ls la so we can see the date is being changed. Yep, matches my time, so change was made. And let's go test the session now with without the HTTP connection. Okay, here's the workflow manager. I'm going to modify this. Mapping, HTTP transformation, put it back to none. That way it forces the session to use the CA bundle CRT to verify the certificates. I save it and run it. So let's go here, it's running. As you can see, same thing been written to the target. It's a good sign again. Let's double check. Find SSL, nothing. And everything is info, no error. Perfect. So that means everything is fine. And we did our job correctly. Uh, okay, guys. So in this video, we went over how to download the certificates using Firefox or IE and it showed you the process is uh, completely identical. I created another video uh, that used the same method but this time using Firefox. It's much simpler the creating the certificate part. So I suggest you watch that video too. I put the link at the bottom of this KB as well. Uh, we appreciate your feedback. Uh, you can send us an email to support TV videos at Informatica or go to the Twitter and use our Twitter account. Thank you very much for watching this and have a great rest of the day.